this uh, special session, uh, you'll get to hear uh, about activities of EY that relate to uh, natural language processing and especially uh, document intelligence. So, hello everyone. My name is Javier and his name is Adolfo. We are part of EY Global Artificial Intelligence Team and we are in the office of Madrid. For those we, which don't know so much about EY, EY is a top consulting and audit firm. And one point of working on EY in artificial intelligence is not only for learn about models, machine learning, artificial intelligence, is for learn about too much different business. We are going, we are going to present EY documents intelligence, which is, which is an across business intelligence platform. The idea is to have a platform for dealing with business document for uh, two, two different service lines and in order to work with different documents and in different presentation. The aim of this platform is to make a complete change about how EY and the world is going to, to work with documents. Quarter of a million of people makes EY possible. Due to this, this heavy amount of people and the kind of job that they do in their daily basis is very related. With business document, we think that the implementation of NLP, machine learning, and deep learning will be, uh, will be a viable solution in order to reduce the cost and improve the work done. Why is this a strategy for EY? EY is investing money for being the best in the world and document intelligence. The idea is to become a more agile company. Here we can see the different aspect or the different uh, solution that we have and we are going to focus in, in some use cases later. For example, find, find, read, interpret, and generate documents. For example, uh, when some expert in the field is doing their job, the idea is that we are, they are losing a lot of time finding, read, interpret, generate new documents, and we want for these people to have a more easy, easy job. And why this breakthrough in the industry now? Because we think that uh, the appearance of deep learning and new technology makes an improvement in so much uh, different fields from medicine to economy, that, like in this example, for example, when uh, we have a machine learning model, a deep learning model, which, who was, which was able to even improve the accuracy detecting skin cancer than some, some expert in the field. We think in EY that these new technologies could be applied for the field of business documents. Okay, so what is EY document intelligence? We want EY document intelligence to be the reference platform to work with business documents. Mm, this will allow us to be a more agile company. We can work with different type of document, from unstructured tests like uh, contracts or email to a more structured data like uh, invoices or forms. And the aim of this is to put the documents into the platform so we can uh, start basically extract the information, um, maybe create some dashboard to apply some analytics so uh, EY teams can take better decisions. Or maybe um, another idea would be to upload a, a wide set of documents of different types and connect a chatbot and start asking questions about those documents. For example, what are the different kind of documents, which documents seems to be more relevant, and so on. So why EY document intelligence and not another provider? Because EY has a huge amount of documents that, that they can access to, but also we have a, a very high amount of history data that we can use to train the models. Um, very um, most important is that when you are working with business document, and um, this document can be very complex, such as a, such as a contract. So you need experts in the field to help you with with these documents. And EY has a very large network of professionals across a very different industry that can help with this. Uh, also, we have collaboration with top technological firms that we can collaborate with. Um, finally, and not less important, we have now AI lab teams all around the world focusing on deep learning and machine learning. Um, 
Okay, the first use case, uh, probably the most important one, is called Dicer. It means document intelligence for control review. As part of EY engagement, um, our professional has to review manually a lot of documents, and this process is very costly and in time and money. So the aim to do this is to upload the documents into the platform, and deep learning is going to play a key role for these documents because the variability of the contracts are very high. It depends so much in, in which person writes the document. So the, aim to, the, uh, the objective to do this is that the user that can be a EY lawyer upload the document into the platform, and then we apply some pre-trained models to show the user the most important classes and um, parts of the document. Then, the, it happen, then it happened what we call the human in the loop. That is, uh, once the, we saw then the prediction about the clauses, uh, he goes and, and confirms which is the, the most important clause. So every time that they do this, we are, give, we are obtaining more training data that will help the platform to improve. Um, by doing this, uh, we are up to say 80% of the time of our teams uh, so they can focus on higher value activities. And now we are going to put a video about this. Business issue. Reading and interpreting masses of contracts is very time consuming and inefficient. Contract review using AI and natural language processing. At EY, our professionals review thousands of contracts as part of audit engagements. Each contract has hundreds of pages requiring hours of manual review. With EY Document Intelligence for Contract Review, the tool allows EY people to analyze a larger number of contracts in a much shorter time frame. Here's how the tool works using a lease agreement as an example. By using natural language processing, the tool is able to accurately extract information such as commencement date and lease amount. It identifies the clauses most relevant to each term. The EY professional selects the most relevant values in order to make audit judgments. Over time, the AI in the tool continues to learn from the interactions with the EY professional to become more and more effective. The tool can recognize different data types, amounts, dates, percentages, and many more. This allows EY people to focus on higher value activities and relationships with key stakeholders. Benefits. Imp decreases time to review documents by 60 to 80%, allowing EY audit teams to focus on higher value activities. Okay, another use case is about invoices. Imagine that you are a real estate company and you are building a very huge new facilities. So for every construction material that you are buying, you have like two main documents. First one is the purchase order, which shows you the information about how much material are you buying and how much are you going to pay. Um, later, maybe after one month, then you receive the materials and you have the second type of document, which is the invoice. So. The, the use case here is to upload both documents into the platform to automatically extract the data from both documents. This allows EY audit teams to cross-check the information looking for possible frauds and mismatching information. Uh, the main advantage to do this is not only the time that we are going to save, it is also, because it is also that when we are doing this kind of job, maybe we have so, so many documents that we cannot use them all, so we have to take a sample of document, a large sample of documents. Um, by doing this, by using document intelligence, we will be allowed to use the whole batch of document. Uh, so we will be offering the clients a uh, better service. Um, that's pretty much all. So if any of you have a question, please ask. Okay, thank you very much.